good evening or good morning to everybody out there. Hi. We hope everybody's having a good one. So we haven't done our video yet for September, so here's a September video, late though it may be. It's just about the end of the month. We practically time it again for a uh, for the October video, but anyway, let's make October's late. October is one more day. So, some new things that have been happening with us recently. Um, the big one that has been happening and has been continuously happening for a little while is our friend Rob. He's uh, out from Victoria in, or Vancouver I suppose now, um, in Canada and we finally persuaded someone to come to Taiwan with us. So he's actually staying with us in Taiwan right now. In yes. He's temporarily moved in with us. He's here on a 90 day, a 90 day landing visa. Which you can get if you're Canadian. Get one. They're amazing. 90 they days? No money. You don't even need a visa, you just walk in and you're visa exempt for 90 days. It's great. Right. It's 30 days if you're American, mm -hmm. 90 days if you're Canadian, and mm, 60 days, days if you're from mostly tomorrow. from other um, countries. So. so, Rob's here to stay, um, only he's not here right now because it's a really beautiful night and he's gone for a walk. Yeah. But we've, as you've seen on the blog so far, we've had a really good time creating this. Um, this Rob the Wanderer game Ultimate for him. Reality. It's been really fun. Um, and I'm going to get him to do a write-up on it very soon. Um, and he'll be posting pictures and talking about all the things he's done. All the stuff oh, his he's experiences. Managed. It's really cool. Um, so he's here and is hoping to, you know, find work, stick around. We're super excited. He's really enjoying his time here, which you all would, too, if he came out here. You should have come out here. Nudge, nudge. Um, today, <laughs> no, yesterday, we're, we're recording this on... Saturday night, September 29th. So yesterday, September 28th, was Teacher's Day here in Taiwan, mm -hmm. which is a whole day just for telling teachers how awesome they are. I noticed nobody told us how awesome we are. No. That's okay. <laughs> um, but it's a new cool, job. It's nobody a cool, likes us yet. I meant people back home. Oh. But it's a, it's a cool holiday here. It just is a good time to show your teachers that, hey, guess what? We All the time you're spending you. with your kids? Thanks. Mm-hmm. Um, other things, the new house is slowly coming together. Once it's all finished-ish, which is not nearly yet, it's and there. cleaned up, I need to go to Ikea to do some stuff for the kitchen and a few other things. Most of the kitchen, yeah. But once it's all finished, -ish, I'll do a whole walkthrough, probably sometime in October or November. I'll walk through it again and show you everything with furniture and, you know, you get to see the whole thing. It's, it's mm -hmm. nice. It's nice. It's coming along really well. Lauren and Rob actually moved around the uh, living room so it looks a lot better than it did before. Which you can obviously tell from the video looking at the wall. You probably can't. Anyway. But anyway, it looks really good. Um, and the house has actually a really cool feel to it now that it didn't have before. It's very, very it's flow amazing through. amazing today. It's amazing. <laughs> very flow through. Very, very nice feeling to mm -hmm. it. And it's nice having Rob because then that, that extra guest room is actually getting slept in. So it's getting yeah. So our guest room that we've been setting up since we first came to Taiwan is finally being used long term. So it's very nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice having it on. Um, last thing, September. Um, this year it's on the thirtieth. It's a lunar festival, mid autumn festival. Uh, moon festival happens mm -hmm. in September. It's a fall, autumn, festival. Um, well, there are a whole side by the way. There's, there's, there are a whole bunch of things to go with it. Mostly it. It follows the moon cycle. You eat moon cakes, which are delicious, and you barbecue, which we did tonight. Mm -hmm. It was very good. We had a very whole, successful barbecue. We had a whole spread. I have definitely leveled up in my making of decent Chinese marinades. Mm -hmm. And I can stew like a mofo. That's how you do barbecues here. Um, you uh, you want to get long? Let's see out the window here. If I turn it around just right over there, there's our new little barbecue. Um, still, it's just hanging out. The grill is off the pasta right now because, just like all good Westerners, we uh, use the coals that were left in it to roast marshmallows afterwards, of course. But um, the, the fashion in which you barbecue here is that you have uh, generally a very cheap grill. Um, you don't have to get something terribly expensive. And you take skewers of about yay long. And you skewer all kinds of things onto it. It's all shish kebab style. And uh, everything from fish to meat to vegetables to anything you could possibly want to put on a grill. And then you sit and you grill for hours. 
Yeah, we I'm, sat out there for three and a half, four hours tonight, just grilling and talking. From start to finish, the whole dinner was like four hours long. It was great. It was, it was great. A lot of fun. Me, Sky, Rob. Fabulous. It was great. It was really, really good. It was really yummy. And I learned how oh to God, grill so properly good. on these grills. Mm, it was good. Mm. Oh, those beef steers were great. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so that's kind of mostly what we've been up to. Um, getting settled in with new work. You know, new work is new work. A new MRT station is opening tomorrow morning. Yes, I'm very yes, excited. Yes. It'll cut my MRT commute in half, and I won't have to go through Main Station anymore, which for people who know Taiwan know Main Station sucks. Yeah, Main Station's kind of terrible. It's incredibly packed all the time. Too many people are running through there, and the new MRT station is going to take a huge amount of the uh, population off of the main central hub of Main Station. Very exciting. So, and it'll allow people to avoid it entirely, which will just get people off of that area. It's going to make Main Station better. It's going to make everything else avoiding Main Station better. It's just very convenient. Oh, oh. Plus, it actually connects us to a couple of our other friends who live on the other side of the line. I forgot about the other exciting news. We're starting training lessons on Tuesday. Oh, yes, on Tuesday. We're Sorry, we keep a whole training. list here of things we're going to talk about. I forgot oh, that one. Chinese. On <laughs> Tuesday, we're starting up, um, which is fairly cheap for the moment, um... Chinese lessons, four, four days a week, two hours a day, and so eight hours every week, and we're not paying that much for it. Um, right now, it's 4,000 NT a piece per month for eight-hour weeks, and then next month, and then after one month, it'll be six, six, and, a, six, a, six and a half thousand yeah. NT per month, which is pretty good. That's about just, um, just over $200 Canadian slash American, because they're practically the same. Um, Something around there. Somewhere in there. Uh, so really not bad price, um, all things considered, if you look at the per hour rate. Mm-hmm. And the per hour rate of generally, what, tutoring? Like yeah, no, it's, tutoring great. Costs, it's great. It's so we're really great. excited. So hopefully next month's video will include us discussing about going to Chinese school. Mm-hmm. So we're very excited about that one. Lauren especially. She's been really wanting to get into Chinese school for a while. So tired of being languageless. Languageless and illiterate and... Anyway, really I think that's about it. Yeah, I all think the so. important things. All right, all right. Thanks for staying with us. Yeah. Take care.